Blessing. This is Pastor A.K. Paul Hammer, First Lady Paul Hammer. We want to welcome you to our outside service mm -hmm. as we praise the Lord on this Memorial Day weekend, celebrating the soldiers and veterans and all those that have gone home to be with the Lord. And so we, we are practicing our social distancing. We got our mask on. And so come on and join in with us and fellowship and praise the Lord with us in this hour. And we just pray that God continue to bless you as you follow, tune in, and support I'm a part. God bless you. Take it away, choir. Man, yeah, before, come on up, deacons. Come on up, deacons. And let the deacons do their devotion. Okay. And stand in place. Come on now. Okay, our scripture reading will be coming from Exodus 20 and 12. When you have it, say amen. amen. Honor thy father and thy mother, that their days may be long upon the land of which the Lord thy God has given thee. I've read you Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. May the Lord have a blessing on the ears, readers and follows of his word. Amen. Amen. Pray, pray, Deacon, pray. Pray. Oh, gracious Father, we come to you this morning and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for waking us this morning. Clothing us in our right mind, starting us on our way. We thank you, Lord, for protecting us from its old virus. Keeping us, keeping us going through that. We thank you, Lord, for watching over our pastor and his family. Keeping them safe and not harm more. We thank you, Lord, for our health and strength, our food and shelter. We thank you for watching over the sick and the shut in, yes, the homeless, yes, the less fortunate, yes, the people in the hospital, yes, the mental Lord. institution, jail, house, the prison, yes, crown the people head in the White House, yes, so, yes, they'll make, so they'll make the right decision. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
to stand before your people. We need you, God, right here and right now on this Memorial Day weekend. God, we ask you, God, that you'll speak your word to us and speak your word through us and speak your word for us. God, I know I'm not worthy, but I thank you, Lord, for using me, God, in spite of all of my faults and failures. You still love me enough to use me. And so, God, I pray that you'll pour into me as I pour out to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way. Speak in this hour, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you. And I pray, God, as we labor your word, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, all my strength. 
and my divine redeemer. As Parham decreases, we pray that you increase right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. With the children of God say amen. 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 And amen again. God bless you. We want to thank you for tuning in. We want you to encourage you to watch us. Listen to us. Amen. On WLOK.com at 5 uh, p.m. today. And as we go to our scriptures, we won't belong to time. We're going to the St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. And we are going to be dealing with starting with verse 14. The Bible says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it on a bushel. But on the candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men yeah, yeah. that they may see your good works and glorify, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Now God give us a few minutes of time we want to use for a thought. I gotta stay lit. Yeah, right right I gotta yeah. stay lit. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. No matter what, I gotta stay lit. During this season of challenges, it's important that we stay lit for God. God want us to light, let our light shine bright for him through each and every one of us as believers. So we want our light to shine bright for God. This passage of scripture is found in the confines of Jesus' sermon on the mount. He advises us that we are the royal priesthood. And that we should not remain in darkness. That we ought to be relevant in dark times. We have to be able to let our light shine. We can't be hiding in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the shadows. But this is the time for the men and women of God to step up and let their light shine forth to give God all the praise and glory. You gotta learn how to give him the glory. You gotta learn how to give him honor. And everything that you do, lift up the name of Jesus. And as I walk up down my text and I look at it as we unpack this thing, the first thing I understand that you got to be saved. In order for you to be able to do some great things for God, in order for you to stay lit for Jesus, you got to be saved by the blood of Jesus. You got to have a confession of your faith. Yes, sir. How do understand that you got to have a relationship with Christ? And so when you have a relationship with Christ, then you can be an ambassador for the kingdom. And so no matter what, I want to be an ambassador for the Lord. So I have to stay the lit. I got to be willing to let my light shine. Are you willing to let your light shine today no matter what's going on? I know in COVID-19 sometimes it looks like it's trying to douse out our light. But we got to learn how to light. I let our light shine in the midst of all trials and tribulation that comes in our life. The righteousness of God. We are upholding the righteousness of God in the land of the living so that we can be a light to this sin filled world. We don't operate as though with no hope. We have hope because we have Jesus on our side. And so you got to be saved if you're going to let you, if you want to stay lit for God. And then understand, you got to be secured. You understand that when you understand that you're saved, then you realize that you are secure. And so, I don't know about you, but I'm standing on the promises of God. I shall not be moved along because God has me in the pillar of his hand. Yes, sir, that's right. That's right. Jesus said he'll never leave me, nor forsake me. Nor I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. Is anybody glad that God's with you? And as long as God is with you, he's got you secured. And I got to stay lit. If God Is there anybody standing lit for Jesus? And then, as I begin to look down the text, I understand that I got to understand that this is secure. I can let my light shine. I don't have to hide. I can be that city on the hill because I'm secure. But then I got to learn how to show forth. First Peter 2 and 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a raw priesthood. 
priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that we have to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness and into the marvelous light. And so I got to stay lit. Well, God, I have to show forth the praise of God. And I don't know about you, and I, even though when you feel like you're broke, busted, and disgusted, I serve a God who will make you feel rich even when you don't have a dime in your pocket. We are raw priesthood. What hinders us from staying lit? What hinders us from staying lit? In this COVID-19, I had a top of opportunity to just spend some time, some deep time with God, walk around the house and, and, and avoid that hustle and bustle of life. The first thing I want you to understand, that as we get rid you got to get rid of selfishness. I was walking around the house and I saw some items in the house. First thing I came across, if I won't stay in it, the first thing I saw was a candle. The problem is, the candle, when I saw it, I said, Lord, what are you trying to tell me? And I looked at it and I saw this candle still had the wrap on it. And when God began to speak to me, he can't use you when you wrapped up in yourself. Well, you're not open for God to use you because you're all tiny tied up and tangled up into what you want and not what God's want. And so many of us have been gifted with talent and ability. God has blessed us to the uttermost, but we too wrapped up in self. And God can't use you wrapped up when you're selfish. But then I went a little bit further in the household, and then I saw another candle. And this candle had been used, y'all, you hear me? It didn't have no wrap on it. And so my next understanding is God was telling me that you got to learn how to be selfless. Go ahead, Pastor. Got to learn how to be selfless. That means I don't think of myself less. <laughs> I don't think less of myself but I do think of myself less and every now and then I want to be a blessing to somebody else is there anybody want to be a blessing that means that you got to be selfless yes, yes. and so just like this uh, just like this old this old, this old candle that is uh, that's been used shall you help me that it let down his God it pulled the wrapper up and it said God use me to you use me up is there anybody want to be lit for Jesus why do I want to be living for Jesus? God wants you to let your light shine. Yes, so all people will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Is there anybody want God to get the glory out of your life? And I'm not going to be too much longer, but three points of praise I want to share with you. Number one, go and get your paper and pen. Number one, be right with God. Be bright with God. Be bright. Be R-I-G-H-C. Be bright with God. God will strengthen your light. And see, you understand that you got to let God, so there's some time that God going to take you through some process in your life. Yes, yes. I remember, so as I walked into the store, God, I told you, God was speaking with me. He was talking with me. He said, by him, come on here, let me show you something. Uh -huh. And I go down the aisle, and I start looking at the light bulb, sis. Uh -huh. Yo, you help me here. If you want to be that, you got to understand. I start looking at the light bulb, and as I start trying to navigate through that, through that thing, I start looking at the shelf. I saw one light bulb was a 20 watt. I saw one light bulb was a 60 watt. I saw another light bulb that was a 100 watt. Then I saw another light bulb was a 120 watt. And what God began to speak to me, if you're going to let your light shine brighter and brighter for me, you got to be willing to go through the process. And understand here, how a, you gotta go help me here, how a light bulb strengthens itself is there's a process that it has to go through in its development. Is there anybody want to go through the process that God has for you? So you can be bright for God. You gotta go through the process if you're gonna be bright for Jesus. God wanna what you mean the process, Pastor? I gotta go through something. Yes, you gotta go through it. But you gotta have the right respect, this perspective on life. Romans 8 and 28 says, All things work together for the good of those who love God and whom are called according to his purpose. The process has a purpose to strengthen your life so I can stay lit for God. No matter how God can make it in my life, I want to stay lit for Jesus. And then number two, write this down. You built to shine. You built to shine. Why you say that preacher? Because 1 John 4 and 4 says, Great is he that is in me, that is in the world. And so as I continue to walk down the aisle, God began to speak with me. This is COVID-19. He said, Paul, hell, you got to let your light shine. You got to stay lit. 
The only way I can make it through this COVID-19, make it through life, I got to stay lit. <laughs> Some of y'all get a little alcohol. Some of us lighting the barbecue saying that you hoping this stay lit. But I thank God today that I have a God that served on the inside of me that is working. I'm built to shine. And I'm going to stay lit for Jesus. And so I saw I walking through the cell. God started speaking to me. He said, Paul Ham. He said, Paul Ham. There's a flashlight. And I said, I said, Lord, there's a flashlight. What you trying to talk to me about this flashlight? He said, he said the flashlight that is there. I said, Lord, what are you trying to show me about the flashlight? He said, son, he said, so son, it's something on the inside. The flashlight has everything that it needs to shine bright. But there's something on the inside. I can say greater is he that is in me than he is in the world. He said, there's some batteries on the inside and the thing about it what, 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 many of us we, we can shout and celebrate the battery but as I looked at the battery I saw that there's a negative end and then there's a positive end what God is trying to tell you in this scene that you built the shine but you gotta go through some negativity in this life you gotta deal with some folk that don't like you you gotta deal with some jobs that mistreats you you gotta even go and tend the church that you understand that they scandalize your name but yet God is gonna use that for your grace Y'all gonna go help me here and understand that there's some negative. And I got I, I thank God for my bad day now, but I also look at the end of the battery and understand there's a positive side. You gotta thank God for the good days and the bad days. Because when God put it on the inside of you, you can let your light shine bright in the name of Jesus. If there ain't nobody understand, God wants you to be a flashlight in this season to let your light shine. In order for you to stay lit, you got to have the right thing on the inside of you. Is there anybody going to stay lit for Jesus? And I don't know about you, but I'm going to stay lit for the Lord. I want God to put it. I understand that I'm going to have some negative people. I understand I'm have some negative circumstances. But I'm glad today that God is the author and the finisher of my faith. Pied on the inside. Thank you, Lord. Then, third, write this down. You broken for the glow. You've been broken for the glow. And what your glow do is give them glory. I remember I watched the movie when I was a little kid. Uh, it had pitching Bruce Leroy Green. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Bruce Leroy Green had an enemy called Show Nuff. And every time he stepped on the scene, the people behind him and said, Show Nuff. But Luke Leroy, the thing was, he was on search for a master. Is there anybody here on search for a master by the name of Jesus? And if you stay on search, if you stay dedicated, if you stay powerful, if you stay with the train, God will give you that high pro go at the end of the story. But why Bruce Leroy was fighting so enough, so enough got to go. But the thing was happening, how many understand that God's go is greater than any go? It's greater than the enemy's. Go is greater than the devil's go over your life. And when Bruce Leroy got his go based on what he done, y'all gonna go help me The spiritual practice that he put in, all of a sudden he started going and he got the victory. If they don't understand that you can have the victory over your life, you've been broken to glow. And then I started looking. I went to another store. I said, Lord, what are you trying to show me? You've been talking to me in this season. It sounds pretty good, Lord. I like what you're telling me. I can dig it. I'm with it. And then all of a sudden, he said, Paul Ham, there's this glow stick out here. I said, God, what are you trying to show me about this glow stick? What are you trying to show me about the glow stick? What are you trying to prove to me about this glow stick? What are you trying to let me in on about this glow stick? Talk to me about this glow stick and in my hand today. Talk to me. Let me know what I'm dealing with, Lord. What are you trying to tell me in this season? And what he's trying to say, sometimes I got to break you in order for your light to shine. Y'all go help me here and understand every time God breaks you, He knows how to shake you to get the best light out of your life. If there anybody in here who wouldn't have let your little light shine, anybody stay lit for the Lord, get your glow on. Because when you get your glow on, you're giving God the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now get ready to leave. My feet are my feet are wide. It is lit. 
it. So when I lay down on it, I sit there and I is. There he is there. And if you're going to stay in it for God, you got to live this life in love. Is there anybody in here understand and know that you know that you know that God wants you to live this life in love? And if you're going to stay in it for God, you got to love your neighbor as yourself. And then you got to love the Lord, the God, with all your soul and with all your might. Is there anybody in here going to stay gently lit for the Lord? And when you look at the world lit, I see there is, there is, and I, the I let me know that God will inspire you to inspire others. Is there anybody understand that when you live for Jesus, that you can inspire others, that you ain't got to set the, the standard high, but you can set the example high. And how many know that all the world needs is a good example of who Jesus is? You can have some influence. You can inspire people for the kingdom of God. Look at somebody and say, neighbor. I don't know about you, neighbor, I'm going uh, to stay lit uh, for Jesus. Uh, when I look at the world, uh, I see that it is, uh, there is a tear, uh, the tear lets me know uh, that you can testify uh, about the goodness uh, of Jesus. Uh, is there anybody here uh, know that you know, uh, that you know uh, that the Lord, uh, he made you uh, unto uh, a living uh, testimony. Uh, I should have been dead, uh, could have been dead, uh, sleeping uh, in my grave. Uh, but the Lord, uh, the God I serve, uh, stepped in uh, and made all uh, death behave. Uh, and now I got a song uh, in my spirit. Uh, in the light of mine, uh, I'm uh, going to let it shine. Amen. Hey, this where I go. I'm gonna let it shine all in my home. I'm gonna let it shine all on my job. I'm gonna let it shine all over the world. All over Facebook. All over YouTube. Over Twitter, all over the radio, I made up in my mind. I'm, I'm going to let my light shine. You know anybody here that's giving over to God and say, Lord, let my light shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. God gave it to me and I'm going to let it shine. And I get ready to leave Jesus, he said that he is the light of the world. The Bible tells her that he hung, bled and died. He died. There's no anybody in here. No, he died. He died to the sun. I'm talking about the S-U-N. Refuse to sign. Because the S-O-N was getting it shine on. That's why I can let it shine. They placed him in a barber tomb. But early, he didn't believe it in here. Early, he rose. Did it get up in your life? He rose. In his hand, that's why I gotta stay lit. Say yeah, I gotta stay lit for G. He's been too good to let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, 
good God Almighty, I gotta let it shine. Come on and give God a hand of praise. Give him a hand of praise. And as we get ready to leave here, we don't want to leave here. We don't want to leave you guys without giving you an opportunity to give your life over to Christ. It's better have him and not need him. And then need him and not have him. Learn how to confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. Romans 10 chapter. Give us the highway to salvation. Follow and trust to God. Put him in your heart. Believe that he is the only begotten son of God. That he rose. He died for our sin, but he rose. To give us power. And one of these days, he's coming back again. God bless you. Find your church home when the doors open up. Get there. You can call a pastor, text a pastor, whenever we'll walk you through the plan of salvation. Don't leave here without your work undone. God loves you. I thank you for joining in when I'm a part. You may find a bigger church, but not a better church. God loves you. I love you. First lady love you. The whole entire I'm a part church family. We love you. As we get ready to leave this place, but never from his presence. Now, God, we're asking God that you continue to bless us in so many miraculous ways. Continue to let your, your peace rest upon us. You just God, however you see fit. We give you glory, we give you all the honor, and we give you all the praise. You can do what no man can do, so we trust you. I pray that you'll keep our families safe, God, as they travel up and down the highway this Memorial Day. Give them peace, God, for those that lost ones and celebrate in memory. So we thank you, we honor you. In the name of Jesus, now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen again. God bless you. And we are hugging church, and I want to give you a great big hug. Social distancing, I think it's all right as I hug you here. Amen.